Well, I guess gravity's not my friend. My phone fell off and then it crashed. And it's been a rough day for the phone. Anyway, you guys got the gist of it. Top 10. Uh, 1 through 10. Willpower fashion. Come in at 10. Now, uh, I'll talk about this in another part of the video. But um, Friday afternoon, the races start at 5.30 at the Meadows. I would like to drive Libero Hanover. I would like to drive... Um, uh, willpower fashion and just for me and you and a couple of the other horses that race in the Arden technically I could drive in the first four make the flight from Philadelphia from Pittsburgh to New Jersey's Newark Airport but that would mean I would have to race knock down drag out in the 12th race and I don't know if the race secretary would be very amenable to <laughs> to making it in the 12th now I would be remiss if I didn't say there were some of your partners on knock down drag out that were wondering hi Ava Mom. that we're wondering if uh, Dave Miller Tim Tietrich would be available for knockdown drag out I, I don't take offense to things like that because as I've said a million times I didn't rebuild do you want your phone here honey um, I didn't re I didn't build the stable with my wife for my driving right for, for any driving career um, you know if I think I can help then I help and the last thing I want to be is a liability to the stable in the race bike and um, I certainly don't think I have been so far when it comes to a filly like knockdown drag out here's a filly that's not right her feet are killing her Andrew's working incredibly hard to get them right and um, it's a problem but he is working on it and um, as you can see in Philadelphia she struggled and to, to ask any driver any driver at all to say hey this Philly's feet bother her. We're working on them. Maybe she's good next week. She's not going to be 100%. Maybe she's really good next week. You know, her feet are bothering her. you got to watch. You don't put her on the front. You don't get her hot. You can put her up on the gate. But just keep an eye on her. It's a lot without knowing this Philly. And um, I, I messaged Andrew and I said, listen, absolutely no hard feelings. Who do you want to drive knockdown drag out? If you would like Dave Miller to drive or somebody else, I'm okay with that. I can stay in Pittsburgh. Go to eat after my family's race, after my horse's race watch the race from a hotel room I'd be happy with that he said he said you need this bag I'll bring it in he said uh, well you could he said but I don't think he'd be helping anybody out he said you know the filly she's not good right now she's getting better but she needs protected and um, you know f for the people out there a couple of great questions why don't we skip the Doherty you can we can we can skip the Doherty but the feet problems with knockdown drag out aren't... Ollie, can you turn that down, sweetie? They aren't... Well, that's unlikely. Um, the foot problems aren't mechanical. Like, these aren't coffin joint issues. These aren't... This is a quarter crack and some bruising in her feet that we're working on and getting there. But the quarter crack, they grow it down and they build her feet out. You can't put any fiberglass on those feet until all the infection is out from, from a pus pocket, from a bruise... You wall that up, and now, now you are looking at problems. So Andrew and his blacksmith are working on it. Um, as I said to our clients, on both sides of the fence, you know, put yourself in my position. 47% of our clients want us to want me to drive knockdown drag out, and 53, 53 would be fine either way. Um, I can't win, right? Because if she go out and races bad for somebody else, I should have been driving her. If she races bad for me, somebody else should have been driving her. I'm in a spot where I'm stretched pretty thin, and it really doesn't matter what uh, which, which what happens. It it reflects negatively on me. She's out wins. Everybody's happy. She gets beat. Maybe she wouldn't have got beat if Tim Tietrich was driving. I want to go in. Okay, honey, you want to go in? Hey, just wait. Any, just wait. Any, there is one right there. Yeah. Just wait one second for me, okay? I don't want you walking across the parking lot without me. Stay here, right here. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, Luckily for me, I got thick skin, right? And I'm going to do what's right for everybody. I'm going to try and do what's right for the horse. And when you're dealing with a trainer like Andrew, you know, fortunately, he's going to tell it like it is. If Andrew had said, yeah, you know, I think, you know, if Tietrich wants a driver, and he had said in his note, maybe for the Breeders' Crown, you know, if we get our 100% and, and, you know, we need every little bit, every inch to count, then maybe, yeah, I agree. That's fine with me. Um, you know, hopefully I'll have glove trotting in the Breeders' Crown anyway. So... Um, and I would have to drive globe trotting. I own a piece of globe trotting, and I don't own any of knockdown drag out. That's the other thing, you know, to get on a plane, leave horses that I own a piece of, maybe to get on a plane and drive to, to fly to New Jersey to drive a horse I don't own any of. 
I, I don't have a dog in that fight, right? It's not... Um, anyway, um, as it stands right now, I'll be driving Knockdown Dragout next Friday at New Jersey. What takes place with the race offices and the draws, I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I know. But uh, as of right now, I'll be driving here next week, and there may be some people with some frowny face emojis. But I get the poop emoji. That's just the way it is. Uh, I, I got to do what I got to do, and um, I can't make everybody happy all the time. So one thing about having 700 clients is that everybody cannot. Be, it would be great to say that, but uh, it's impossible to keep everybody happy all the time. I do the best I can. I think the stable does the best they can. Um, I don't think anybody can say that's not the truth. So we're going to continue to do what we're doing and uh, hope it all works out in the end. So far, we've had a great summer. It's all worked out great. It's my boy's birthday. Happy birthday, Ollie Bear. And we are going to the Detroit Tigers game in just a minute. Hopefully, I can get a few more of these lists done and get them out to you at some point. You're probably not going to get them till Monday. Hi, buddy. Probably not going to get them till Monday afternoon. But that is the way the cookie crumbles. So, for Ollie, the birthday boy, and me, and the kids, we're on our way into IHOP to get... There's an IHOP and a Denny's. You sure you don't want Denny's? Mommy would be mad if we went to Denny's and she went to IHOP. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.